All right, I'm going to try this one more time. I've done this video about, about six times now. Anyway, what I want to do, I had a bunch of people uh, here lately re order some of our round rail mounts. Probably the large order we have. We have about 35 or 40 of them going out. But uh, anyway, what we have is we have a 7 8 round rail mount. We have a 1 inch and, and a 1.04. Now, this design is the reason we have these, these measurements on them is um, you can't take our, our 1.04 and put it on the 1 inch. It's too big. It's going to slip. Because what makes this a, a good mount right here that won't slip on you is that we, it's 100% coverage of the rail when you tighten this thing down. Well, what it is, we've got two screws at the top, two, out, two Allen wrench cap head screws, and then a pointed set screw underneath. And I'll show you how that works in just a minute, but you take that mount you put on your rod, on your rails, and you tighten these down equally and run them, you want to run them splits up the same so it'll be the same on both sides. And when you get your rod, put the rod in the holder, and then you might have to hold it in place, but just slightly snug this up just enough to hold that rod where you want it. Then you take your other size Allen wrench and this set screw underneath here, you want to put this uh, set screw, you want to just snug it up so that the point of it makes a little bitty divot right in your rail. It won't, you never see it, it won't start, scratch it all up, but then you go back to your top side and you want to tighten this thing up good and tight. And when you get it done, if you got a one inch rail and you put our one inch mounts on there, those gaps on each side ought to be down to just, just a couple thousandths in those gaps. Now, and what that does is pulls that set screw up in there, and then you have 100% coverage all the way around that, that, uh, that mount. And then what makes them better is that point in the bottom, and that thing tightened out, you can't get it to move. And then it's a whole lot better. This is what else is on the market, a square type round rail mount. It's universal. It leaves a big gap between them. And what that does is it, 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 it egg shapes your rail. Because these rails on boats ain't that thick, stand wall tubing. But anyway, there's the, what's on the market. And you can see it's obvious what kind of damage this point, these points will do on your leg, your butt. And when you're running around getting a fish and playing around on the boat. But, uh, but our, our, our mounts are a little smoother. Uh, won't do as much damage when they hit you. But anyway, what I want to show you real quick is that's the way we tighten them up. But... When you go to move this mount, unlike the other square ones that are one size fits all, when you move that mount, and it, it'll be on there, it'll be on there tight. Uh, you can look at that right there on the top, and there's no damage whatsoever from that mount. The only thing you're going to have on this mount is from the underneath side when you loosen that screw up a little bit. But when you on the underneath side, you'll see a little divot.